morning you guys so today is a new day and i'm sitting down to do my makeup and i'm actually about to film like three or four videos more like four videos as many as i can do today because some things have changed in my schedule and i need to get uh further ahead than i am right now which i'm actually in pretty good shape right now but anyway so i gotta film a few videos it's going on 10 o'clock and i want to be done by six so i gotta stay on task and i want to film today and show you guys like some behind the scenes kinds of things and that's it because including this vlog i guess it'll be like five videos that i'm filming today which is crazy so anyway i'm gonna drink this coffee and do my makeup and i'll check in with you guys after hey guys so i'm just checking in i just filmed a couple of videos like half of two videos like half of each so i have to finish those when i get back because i'm running to the store if i didn't say that already i'm just running to the store i want to get a little sunshine as well so i'm actually excited to make this store run and then um, when I get back, I want to get something to eat and just like take a second, regroup, and then get back to filming. So I'm probably going to be going into the evening. And if I have some time to pick you guys up again, I will, but we'll see what happens. And then um, that's pretty much it. I had to switch to my phone because I'm filming the videos, the sit down videos I'm doing. I had to film them with my vlog camera because the main camera is acting a little weird. So I had to use that camera, my vlog camera, to film my main videos. And then now I had to switch to this camera to vlog with on my phone. So um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see the difference in the footage. But that's what's going on. Um, oh, let me show you my outfit because I actually really like this outfit. Like something casual, quickly running out. Still pretty cute. And it's kind of funky. It's giving the 70s vibe. Y'all know how I feel about that. So let me just show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the outfit, you guys. I am wearing this trench coat. This is a patent leather trench from Nordstrom but it's by the brand Leith. If you're an OG watcher then you already saw this. I think I got it on like the Nordstrom anniversary sale like two years ago maybe. I don't know it's been a while now but one of my favorites. I love this jacket so much and y'all already know how I feel about patent leather. And then underneath I'm wearing the long sleeve shirt from Banana Republic that I got recently. These are so good. If you guys can get your hands on these definitely get them. I need to stock up one more actually because I only got I think three colors. White this color and then I got black but I really like these. They're like thin rib knits. And they're like the perfect t-shirt, like one of the most perfect. The only other one that I also like probably just as much is the one from Everlane. And I only got the short sleeve versions of the Everlane one. So actually I wanna get the long sleeve ones as well. And then for my jeans, I'm wearing my Topshop dad jeans. Y'all already know how I feel about these. Love, love, love. And then a pair of white Adidas, you know, casual, kind of fun. And then I'm just carrying my sunglasses and my wallet because I'm just running in and out. And that's it. The studio, you guys, I'm just going to go a little bit over here. It's a mess. Look, boxes everywhere. I, I don't even want to show you. And then, you guys, this is something that I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but it really annoys me. But not so much because I haven't taken care of it yet. But anyway, that's this is one of the projects we're taking care of this month, uh, along with some other things. But we'll talk about that because obviously vlogging, so I'm going to show you guys what's going on as far as the house projects. But if you can see, the trim has to be painted on all the doors. Even this one over here, the trim has to be painted. Well, there we go. I'm trying to point to it. The trim has to be painted on this door as well. So there's a lot of trim in this room and a lot of it has to be painted. But I actually was the one who filled in the holes with the wood filler. You know, after they put the trim up, you know, they nail it down and then I filled in the holes. So anyway, that was my little construction project. And now it just needs to be painted the door as well. But yeah, I was really tired and I kind of like started to slow down when I was filming. So I'm happy to get like a little bit of a break. And then I'll probably pick you guys up, like I said, when I get done with everything. But we'll see how it goes because if it gets too late, then I'm probably just going to um, want to shower and just jump into bed and start all over again tomorrow. But anyway, this is the outfit. I'm really feeling it. I'm into it. What do you guys think? All right, I'm off. All right, you guys. So it is the end of the night. And you're really tired. I filmed like four videos today and I've never done that before. So it was crazy. But I got it done, and actually I gotta finish two of them tomorrow because I only was able to get like half of two of them done today. So anyway, I gotta finish those up tomorrow morning. But that's fine, that was really cool that I was able to do that. So I'm now going to take my makeup off, wash my face and everything and get in the bed. But before I do, I figured I would just get unready with you guys. So I'm about to do my pin curls. And you guys ask me a lot about how I maintain my hair, what do I do with it and everything like that. And when I tell you guys my routine is like super, super simple, hopefully you guys will find value in it still because I really don't do much. And I find the less that I do, 
the better my hair behaves. Like I don't put anything in it once I get it done. Now I will say I do go to the salon every two weeks or so to get my hair done. And that's pretty much everything that gets done to my hair gets done there. And then after my salon visit, I just do pin curls every single night until I go get my hair done again. Now, usually at night I will brush it out and I have been loving this. This is from Tangle Teaser. You guys might remember a while back, I put it in a vlog when I got a few things in PR. And this was one of the brushes that I received and I really love this brush. It's actually a finishing brush. I have a couple of other Tangle Teaser like detangling brushes, which I really like. And I can link them for you guys if you wanna check them out. But I will also link to this brush. I love it. Now, what I will say is, you might be able to get a similar result with just like a paddle brush. But I have been using this one and I really like it. So that's why I'm recommending it to you guys. So check it out and see if you, you would be interested in it. But I love the way it looks first of all. I think it's so cute and I like the handle. And I think that the bristles have something to do with that. Because you know how when you brush your hair out with a regular brush, it makes it like frizzy. This, but it, but it really does a good job of separating the curls even though it's like making it frizzy. This separates it, but it doesn't make it, it, doesn't make it frizzy. So I guess that's why they call it a finishing brush because it has more teeth than a comb but less than like a dense brush so anyway i really like it and it have like a different level so check this out this is what it looks like anyway so every night i brush out my hair and usually i'll stick to like the ends because i don't like to brush it out too much and my hair is coming up on like the two week mark so it's getting kind of weighed down it's getting a little stringy especially in the front i seem to have a lot of oil like natural oils in the front of my hair um, toward the end of the two week mark. So anyway, and I can tell my hair starts to shed so much by the end of the two weeks, my hair starts shedding, shedding like crazy, which means I either need to trim or I need to, um, you know, just wash it. But last time I got my hair done, I didn't get a deep conditioner. And the time before that I did, I got, a, um, I got one of those steam treatments and that makes a huge difference. That's something I would recommend, which I was I mean, I'm not against like steam treatments. I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. Like, but I didn't think that it was as amazing as I think it really was for my hair. So I'm gonna get them every other time I go. I'm gonna get the steam treatment because before I got the steam treatment, I felt like my hair needed something. It was just the curl to me wasn't curling. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the curls weren't really looking juicy. They weren't really looking bouncy to me. Even though you guys were still complimenting my hair, I just felt like it was missing something. So I got that steam treatment and the curls were juicing. The curls were doing their thing and I really liked it. So I'm gonna do it like every other time. Cause I don't think I need to do it every time, but we'll see. So anyway, I pretty much just like brush to the end, but you see what I'm saying? Like, look, I'm gonna brush it out all the way. But once my hair starts getting old, I don't brush it out all the way from the root because, because it's getting so weighed down and oily, I find that it just like speeds up the process. So I really don't like to do that. But you see what I'm saying? Like it fluffs out the curl. And my hair does need to be washed by now, you guys. I'm looking at the viewfinder, so. I feel like it just like fluffs it up really nicely. Like, look at that. I think it looks so good. So that's what I mean about this brush. It really just like does a good job of finishing it. I guess that's the whole point, but I like it a lot. So definitely check it out. I'll link it for you guys to check it out. But yeah, so all I do is brush through it. And then I push, push it all to the back. And then I'll just pick up a piece in the front. I don't have any type of like rolls. I just go with it. My hair is shedding. Hope you guys can see that. I'll go like that. And then I just do my pin curls. So I put my, these two fingers, Hopefully the camera's not all blown out. Sorry, you guys. I was messing with the lighting, but it's just so, this house is so white. And we made it this white on purpose so that, um, you know, everything looks good when we were filming, but I gotta figure out about the camera settings. But anyway, the, um, I take these two fingers, I smooth it out, and then I put these two fingers here. I put them here, and then I pin, I mean, I wrap the curl around my fingers. And then once I have it like that, you see my fingers in there? Once I have it like that, I take the curl off my finger and then I just roll it up like a roller.
And then I just put the pin curl through it. Bam, like that. And I'm not like neat with it. I don't make like precise parts. I don't worry about measurement. And once my hair gets like kind of old, I really just want to keep the bend in it. You know what I mean? When it's newer, I, I take a little bit more time and I make certain sections. But I still can do it without even paying attention. I don't even watch what I'm doing. Like now I'm doing it in the mirror, but honestly, most of the time I'm doing it while I'm like watching YouTube videos or I'll sit on the bed just before I lay down and do it while I'm watching something on TV or whatever like that. So once you get the hang of it, it takes no time. You just got to do it every night. That's how I maintain my hair. And a lot of people ask me what I do, but it's really all in the nightly routine, I think. And I mind is super simple. So if I can do it, you could do it because... I'm an extremely lazy person when it comes to my hair. I don't like doing hair. I don't think I'm very good at doing hair. And I'm not even interested in getting good. You know what I'm saying? So just do things like that and I think it'll help you out a lot. So I'm gonna finish up my pin curls and then I'm gonna wash my face and get in bed. <laughs> oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that when I'm doing my pin curls, the ones in like really just this one and the ones around my face I do away from my face like I pin them going back and then the rest of them I pin going up and every once in a while I'll try to like um I don't know do like different ways like even pinning it like sideways just depending on how I feel sometimes I feel like it makes a difference sometimes I feel like it doesn't but I always make sure the ones that are on my face are pinned away from my face because I feel like it just adds to that like fair faucet type you know what I'm saying curl and I not like that And that's it you guys hopefully you guys can see it and how it looks in the back it's kind of hard for me to show you but it's super simple and i honestly did them kind of smaller than i probably would have done it if i wasn't showing you guys on camera but it's really easy and i do these are like standing pin curls i don't like to do the ones that are flat because i think that they don't come out right or i don't know how to do them right i don't like the way they look so these i prefer and that's it <laughs> really simple so now i'm just gonna wash my face so I told you guys in a previous vlog about the skincare that I switched to and I think I like it. I'm going to keep trying it out before I can like tell you guys like a final decision. But so far I'm into this Polish Choice Omega Complex Cleansing Balm. I think it's really good for removing my makeup. It's gentle but my skin feels clean afterward but not in like a squeaky clean kind of way. But it feels like it got a lot of the dirt out. And that's my only gripe about oil cleansers or cleansing balms is I feel like my skin doesn't feel clean afterward. But I don't even want to go in with anything too stripping because then it's going to dry my skin out, which is what I would do normally. But I'm trying not to do that. So I got to get used to the fact that my skin still is clean, even though it doesn't feel squeaky. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I like this. I showed you guys this when I hold it um, in another vlog. And then after... This cleansing balm, I go in with my hydrating toner from um, First Day Beauty. I really like this a lot, you guys. And after I've cleansed, I'm going to go in with this Soothe and Nourish Alcohol Free Ultra Repair Wild Oat and Hydrating Toner. This is from First Day Beauty. Now this, I just go in. I've been, I was using it on a cotton pad, but I decided I'm just going to put it on, in my hands and pat it into my face because I feel like it was a waste of cotton pads. So I just put some in my hand like that. It's kind of milky. And then...
Normally, I would be doing this while I um, didn't have a robe on, but you know, I'm filming, so I gotta put something on. But usually, I would take everything like down all the way far down because I would probably be doing this after I showered, you know. Now, since I am exfoliating tonight, I'm just going to use my Polish Choice. BHA liquid exfoliant next and this I am gonna put on a cotton pad. I just have some dark spots like here. I had a pimple, I had a little um, pimple here. This one is a brand new pimple and then I have a couple of dark spots on my forehead that I'm wanting to lighten up. And usually when I get serious about my skincare again, it starts to lighten up. But this is my first time trying out um, a chemical exfoliant, so we'll see. But when I use my physical exfoliant a week or so and all my dark spots are cleared up. So I just put that on. And that's another thing, when I use the chemical, I mean my physical exfoliants, it's easy for me to do with my hand, but when I put it on a cotton pad, I find that it's not as easy. Anyway, I just rubbed this on. And this is only like my fourth night using this. And I don't do, I haven't done it in a row. So it was like on and off, you know? But, I'm trying to stay clear of my eyes. And then now I think I'm just going to go in with my face oil. Depending on the night, because I've been playing around with different things, usually I would go with the serum and then um, a cream and then my face oil. But I mean, not a cream, my face oil, a serum and then my face oil. But since I just exfoliate, I'm just going to put a face oil on top of this and see what happens because I'm playing around with different, um, you know, different concoctions. <laughs> So one of my favorite face oils, actually this is my favorite face oil from La Satan. I love this line of skincare, the Immortal Divine. And if this current regimen that I have going on, if this doesn't work out for me, I'm going back to this because it's my absolute favorite. But I felt like I just need to switch up a little bit. You know how sometimes your skin might be using something. So um, I just want to try something different. But I'm going to go pick up a bottle of this and the serum to keep it because it's so good, you know. Anyway, this is the Immortal Divine uh, oil. And I broke the dropper, which is a shame. I got another one though, so I'm just trying to use this up and I'm gonna switch to my other one. Anyway, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. So that is it, you guys. That's all I'm doing for now. And usually I would go in with the eye cream, but I'm experimenting, like I said, skipping eye cream just to see if I actually need it, if my other skincare products will suffice because my favorite eye cream is Bobbi Brown's eye cream. It's so good. Um, but I just wanted to see if I really needed it or if it was just something that I liked. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm just experimenting, like I said, so we'll see. But I'll link everything that I use in the description box and you guys can let me know what you're using and um, we could talk about it in the comments. And if you wanna see an in-depth tutorial on how I do my pin curls, if this wasn't um, enough for you, then you can check out my pin curl video. I did an entire video showing you guys my nighttime routine, and it is exactly the same. The only difference now is that I get a silk press with a flat iron as opposed to getting a roller set, but that's the only difference. But yeah, I'm going to hit the bed. I'm probably gonna check some emails before I go to sleep. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today, you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. I get a lot of questions about how to grow a YouTube channel, how to start, equipment recommendations, what do I do? So I wrote a book and I'm sharing it with you guys. It's gonna detail everything that I did to grow my channel, specific information and actionable steps that you can take to grow your YouTube channel. So if you are just wanting to start one but you just have no idea where to start, you get overwhelmed and you just it just seems so far away for you, this book will help you. If you already have a YouTube channel and maybe you've plateaued or you're just not seeing any kind of growth or you're not seeing the kind of growth that you feel like you should be seeing, this book will help you. It's going to detail everything that I have done and it'll have actionable steps that you guys can take to get you to the next level for your YouTube channel. So click the link in the description box and get started on your channel.